sun's going down. It is 6.48, so I'm almost coming up on 10 hours. I just did a walk, an hour and a half walk. I walked almost seven kilometers, burned almost 600 calories, and now it's uh, time to cool down and uh, we'll go get dinner. Oh yeah, and I'm almost at 30,000 steps. Nice. Just doing that in an airport. Time to have dinner. Flat iron steak. Hello. Hi. Fantastic, thank you. What's like the most ordered thing here? The most ordered? Yeah. There's a lot. It's appetizers, a lot of rolls. They order a lot of rolls, calamari, sliders, burgers. The flat iron? Yeah, flat iron. Yeah, it's really good. They yeah. come to two sides. They come to asparagus. You can change the side for fries. Okay. Well, thank you for the info. That's kind of what I want. The prime flat iron. Holy crap, check this one out. 14 ounce steak, 70 bucks. Killer. Yeah, how are you, sir? All right, how are you doing today? I guess I'll have a uh, Samuel Adams, please. Okay. Or do you have the log or only the, the seasonal? We have the seasonal only, not the lager. Okay, I'll try it. Thank you very much. The prime flat iron. So we do please. a meal or we have this one by yourself? Which one you want? I'll just do the meal. Okay. How would like to be cooked? Uh, medium, please. Okay. Medium uh, rare. Medium rare? Yeah. yeah perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Cold, tall, and frothy. Well, that's good. I like that. It's probably better than the lager. Fantastic. Thank you very much, sir. Enjoy. Look at that, people. Holy schmoly. That looks and smells great. Medium rare. All that sauce and juice. So we got some spinach, some Parmesan cheese on those fries. Wow. And ketchup. Oh, looks wonderful. I guess they can't really give you a steak knife at an airport. Oh my goodness. How juicy that is. Mm. Wow. Wow. Didn't think I'd be eating something like this today. I don't know, I thought I'd be eating fast food most of the day. Stab it. Dip it. Roll it. Do the matrix thing. There we go. I know it's juicy. I know it's tender. I know it's delicious. Ignorance is bliss. Back in the matrix. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. So next time you find yourself in Logan Airport on a long layover, come over to this Italian steakhouse and order the same steak I just had. Uh, maybe ask for it to be medium as opposed to medium rare. Because this uh, that one piece, that first piece I had, was a little bit too rare for me. But as I'm working my way across this steak. It's getting more and more perfect the way I love it. I mean, like that. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm. Melt in your mouth. There we go. Put a little bit of green on it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I'm going to turn the camera on. Enjoy the rest of this in peace. Then we'll go scout out a great place to sleep tonight. See you in Last piece of steak. I'm trying my best to get all this sauce. They did a really, really good job on that sauce. It is very nice. Has a bit of a soy kick to it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I want another one. That's what I want. Perfection.
talk to the owner or manager. And she says that there's a, a bunch of these restaurants and the menu they have here is only a partial of what the Davio's, she told me it was called Davio's, not Davio's, <laughs> Davio's. Uh, there's a bunch of them and they have a bit, way bigger menu than they have here at the airport. So if you see one around, check it out. You don't have to come to the airport. But if you do, and you're stuck here like I am, have it here. Claim plate award once again. It's just after eight and uh, pretty much all the stores are closing down. Nothing much happening in this part of the airport. Just talked to a security guard and they're gonna close this whole area down. So Pot Belly, Kelly's, everything's closed. I think Sam Adams is open a little bit longer, maybe till nine. LOL, missed it. I just talked to the awesome people at the Starbucks here and uh, they said Terminal E is probably open the latest because of their crazy international flights. So it's funny, I just came from C, which is the longest route to get here. And I gotta go the exact opposite way, which is probably, I don't know, three to four kilometers. Jeez. E-Wing is busy as heck. It's 9.15. There's tons of people. It's like it was 12 noon here. I think the last flight is E7 at uh, 11.10. So we can hang out until 11.10. It'll be interesting to see what happens after that. I actually think I might get kicked out of this airport. Guess we'll have to wait and see. So the last flight out is at 11.10 E7. That's E7 there. And down there was uh, E5. Oh, E6 is at 10. Uh, 25 it's 10 19 so that's that one down there love these seats where you can put your legs up a little bit more that's nice could possibly stay here tonight and then you got these things where you can kind of lie sideways that one's a crappy seat and you can't sit here because they put all these arms on it see that's not bad you could probably get away with that Oh, look at this. <gasps> that could work. Let's sit here for a bit. <laughs> Just sitting here and a mouse came out from here and it's like, I'll see if I can find him again. Mice living in the airport, Boston Logan. There he goes. There he is way down at the end whoa he's running around see i'm not the only one who stays at airports airport lizard the airport they're uh, kicking us out gotta go over to another part of the airport 
so only got maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours with interruptions, noises, things. So it looks like I have to leave the regular airport. There's a brain. I'm like, what am I seeing? A match brain. I'm now outside of security until 3.30, I think you said, and then you can come back in. We had to go through security. I should have hid. So I kind of knew. Miss, I was thinking about that last yesterday. That I'd get kicked out. He just said, you don't have to leave the airport, you just have to leave security. Okay. So we're now back into a familiar area. Baggage claim. There's the other guy. At least we get to see what outside is like. I think he said, excuse me. Now oh, we can re-enter at 3.30. Oh, I'm re-entering. <laughs> People are coming back into the airport. It'd be interesting if I can get back in. Which is really stupid, really. If they let me back in right now, what a waste of time. Okay, so now we're back in the check-in. Check-in, baggage, drop. One of the things I was wondering yesterday is if they actually had like an outside balcony. That would have been kind of cool. You could watch planes from outside. Where's she going? Elevator to walkway. Ride limo taxi. Drone shot. Just kidding. I think they just arrived and that's why they're, uh, I wasn't sure. I thought they were coming to the airport. I was bamboozled. There's my people right there. Airport lizards. I like the airport lizards. This place is huge. Oh, cool. Movies made in Massachusetts. The Thomas Crown Affair, Jaws. The Brinks Job, Verdict. Which is of Eastwick, didn't know that. Glory. Very cool. Oh, the firm, of course. Look at them all. That's a lot of movies. Look at them all, all the way down there. A few more airport lizards here. Look at all that baggage. Jeez. Not a whole lot of seating area. It's 3.30. Let's go see if we can check in. Let's see if we can get a ticket. So too early to check bags. But I'm not checking a bag, so... So I have to be, it departs at 9.25 tonight. And I'll be back in uh, Buffalo by 11 o'clock, basically. Let's see if we can get through security. 3.30 in the morning. Here we go. He's on this side. Oh, that side? So we're just going through the other doors? Wrong side. Attempt number two. No weapons, got it.
Morning. Thank you, sir. Almost made it through unscathed. I forgot I had a little bit of water left in my water jug. So, he's like, we can either throw it out or you have to go back through security. And I'm like, I'll go back through security. Drank in that way, I got to keep my jug of water, or my jug, had to drink the water, and then go back through security and go through the whole scan and everything. No big deal. And just to confirm, I've uh, checked in, gone through security about 16 hours before my flight, which is pretty good. Back to my sleeping spot. something to eat we've got three hours left and then we'll be done things are definitely happening to this part of the airport uh, good morning can i get a large black coffee yeah and uh breakfast taco please okay thank you that would be a thank you. Right? Yes. Okay, thank you. That was 10, 36. Thank you. 25. Thank you. Good morning to me. Let's pull this lid off. It's not a very good lid. It's spilling. I was walking around, either wasn't put on properly or I haven't tried to secure it again just to make sure. So we've got our steaming hot coffee. And then we did the bacon, egg, and cheese. And there it is, people, the Dunkin' Donuts morning breakfast taco. Very greasy on the bottom. Bacon, I'm guessing. Pretty good. That's gonna be a very good breakfast. Cheers, good morning. Wow. I still tempted to get a donut, but I didn't. Trying taco number two. And there's definitely some spices in there because it is tingling all over my tongue. I'm not sure what it is, but it's good. Need to get a shirt. Cause I forgot an extra shirt. Got socks and underwear, but forgot another extra shirt. That's what I'll grab. Thank you. I'll go extra large. Just to make sure. Thank you. Nice. All these people are going to Cancun. Hope they got good weather. Apparently there are 40 of those hydration stations in this airport. In fact, time to charge. If 
feel so much better. New clothing, brush your teeth, start a brand new day. Well, we're almost at the uh, 24 hour mark. I'm also start heading towards ground transportation and get the water taxi over to Boston. Ground transportation. Well, there you go, guys, living at Boston at Logan International Airport for 24 hours. Had an awesome time here, ate some great food. My favorite part uh, about this whole airport is Terminal B, where all those, that kind of that food area is, where Kelly's and stuff is. Uh, that was kind of my favorite area of uh, this whole huge airport. But of course, uh, eating at the seafood place, and the steak place were definitely my favorite meals. I'm super glad that I got to do that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you can check out the next video because we're gonna be going downtown Boston and checking out as many things as we can in 12 hours because I gotta get back here in 12 hours to catch my plane back to Buffalo. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.